What's up, homies? All right, so I've had some me time. I did some meditation, rub one out, thinking about my person. Yeah, I went there. I really want a positive reading. So if you could, when you tap in, please tap in with positivity, optimism, faith, and love. Okay, let's do this reading, okay? Um, <clears throat> I'm using a double deck, my deck, and the Love Oracle deck as well. Uh oh. Okay, so someone in your in this collective, whoever this is in this collective, you are in a relationship and your partner, you have a family, they you know, they have family, you have family, of course, but your partner is being very generous to their family, okay? And they're doing it kind of behind your back. So, um, not like completely behind your back, but like mixing a lot of the truth with lies and making it sound believable, but ultimately going behind your back. So your angels are telling you better watch out some, for some shady shit like that, okay? Like they could be giving away all your damn money. I mean, why are we broke? Well, you know what I'm saying? All right. It's like I'm a psychic. Your finances are at... Are, are, mm, so your finances are at, in danger here with the person you're with. Looks like they're being ex generous with family members, okay? Now... It, there is a situation ship <laughs> that someone is trying to get your attention and wants to communicate, air sign energy, wants to communicate to you what they want, the truth, um, and, you know, give you some clarity, some closure, some things that you had questions about all along with this, this very person. Um, like I said, this is going to be a situation ship. <laughs> I'll be. Um, and I'm not sure if this is this is your relationship or your person's relationship that's going on because it's kind of weird as far as the timing goes. But hey, everything happens in divine timing. You never know. But I am picking up that this person wants one of the things that they want to tell you and communicate to you is that they love you. <laughs> um, see, air sign could... I know all you're like, what the fuck, Cher? Air sign is like, it also is signs of the zodiac and birth charts, right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And an air sign is very light, is very quick-witted, uh, intellectual, very communicative, also could be a sharp tongue, could be quick to the, you know, uh, short fuse. Um, but at the same time, they also are very, very intellectual folks but very light very calm and a very and also air sign is a, is also the element that communicates it, it, you know represents communication so like i said in this and what i'm picking up is this means communication and this person for the situation ship is going to come forward and tell you how they feel about you and then that said they love you they have been watching you on social media. Seems like it comes out in every fucking reading we do. All of us. Yep. Somebody is spying on your social media. Hmm. Now then. Um. There's distance between the two of you. Obby. So you're in separation. Um. You or your person or both are having some major anxiety because... There is a mystery with this still. Like, you still don't know how this is going to pan out. You still don't know if it's going to work out. You don't know how this person is going to react if you come forward, blah, you know, you know, the whole everything. Um, I feel like communication is also going to be about some kind. Of, and this is coming out in, like, all these fucking readings. So, this, look, pay attention. Whoever this resonates with, please tell me because, damn, this is. So coming out every single reading I do, but it, there's some kind of party, some kind of party that 
revealed some kind of secret. Something came out. Some kind, something was revealed. And this is also going to be communicated to you. So you, every, all this shit's going to come out in the open to you. And this person, including addiction, including, and, and they're actually going to probably need to drink something in order to talk to you about everything because they're going to be so fucking nervous and they're going to need a little bit of liquid courage but it's going to be a double-edged sword because they have a little bit of a problem addiction um but this person fuck knuckles a holy fuck this person is coming forward with a love offer this person loves you and when i say they're coming forward with a love offer this could be either or. This could be they're coming forward with a commitment, a commitment to be together or a commitment to just be in an exclusive situation. Um, some kind of offer is coming, okay? But make no mistake, once again, this person loves you and they're going to communicate that to you as well. So, two plus two makes four. All right, let's see what else I got. Spirit, what else can I tell this collective about this lovely reading? It's so beautiful. <sighs> okay, well, shit. One of one or both of you has ghosted the one of the other one, um, <clears throat> or you feel ghosted. But I feel like one of one of you, one of you, one of you ghosted the other one due to na narcissistic and toxic behavior. So, someone in this dynamic hurt the other one and was dumb. <laughs> And did some dumb shit. Um, but there is unconditional love in this in this relationship or this, this connection, whatever. Um, and this person does want to get back together, hook up, you know, like get together, talk, that sort of thing. And who this person is is a secret crush. This person's been holding in their feelings for you for a very hot, very, 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 very long time. Like, yeah. And you, like I said, communication... What the fuck did I say? Communication, a text message, a DM, some kind of a digital message is coming your way from your person. And they're going to communicate a little bit as much as they can possibly do to intrigue you to meet with them. And tell, and they want to tell you how they, you have been their secret crush for a whole, like forever in a day. Um, they have unconditional love for you. That means they love you no matter what you look like. With, without makeup, all your fat rolls, all your blemishes, all, that, the, all your imperfections. They don't see those things. They look past those things they see right into your soul and they fucking love you regardless unconditionally and they want to tell you all this shit uh, i feel like they have been recently made single due to turbulence in their relationship what we saw earlier and i think they're going to communicate that truth to you as well and whoever in this dynamic has green in their eyes somebody has green with your it's green eyes or green in their eyes fuck me um <laughs> Yeah, per your person's fearful of telling you the truth, to say the least. Um, there is a lot of drama, a lot of drama. But look, you guys, you guys are fated to be together, and I feel like there's going to be some kind of legal matter involved here um, with your person. And I believe that you, as this person, possibly is going to help with this matter. And there's also righteous beliefs in play at play here too. So all this is within divine timing, okay? All of this is within divine timing. And it, it seems like things are being done the traditional way, traditional customs. Um, and your person's ready to roll the dice with you. They want abundance with you. They're ready to take a gamble. They're ready to take the risk. They're ready to move forward toward, toward you. <laughs> and they're even willing to sneak around their relationship for you. Yeah. And don't fucking lie. You're willing to, too, you vixen. Also, you're, you guys are going to meet up like, a, like I'm a psychic. You guys are going to meet up and get together. Bad baby, bad baby, bad baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I call fucking positive. Fucking positive. I'm going to leave it at that. You guys have a great night.